hair. It keeps our head warm, gives us a place to use shampoo, and clogs our drains. And thanks to science, we understand it more than ever. We sent Nabil to find out how bioengineering can help us care for our hair. Everyone's hair is different. Some people have dark, bouncy curls, others fine and blonde, and still others, a thick and commanding dark chestnut. Check it out. That probably would look better if I had longer hair. But regardless, the products we use for a healthy head of hair have some clever chemistry, thanks to scientists like bioengineer Serena Kareem. I've always been someone who's wanted to know everything about every single little thing and how every single system works. I use biology, I use chemistry, I use mathematics, I use engineering because I'm making hair care products which is a lot of chemistry, and especially organic chemistry. By combining her love of all these sciences, Serena designs new ways to help the human body, specifically the hair part. At her company, she creates custom hair products through careful analysis of every client's unique hair. Have you always been a big fan of hair? How, how did you get into this field? So I went to a boarding school when I was young, and at the boarding school, they didn't really know how to take care of my hair, and even brought me to a salon to cut off my hair. Luckily, the hairstylist was really nice, and she didn't cut my hair, but she did show me a bunch of different products and how to apply products to my hair so I can learn how to take care of my hair. And since then, I've been on a search for a perfect product until I created my business, Follicule. It's almost like your superhero origin story. Exactly. What are you working on right now? I'm actually taking a look at one of my clients' hair. Do you want to see? Yeah, I would love to. The hair has three layers, the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. When you're bleaching your hair, you have to open up the hair cuticle to get to the cortex because that's where pigment is stored. That can damage the hair cuticle. So whenever the cuticle is raised to that extent, the hair is left vulnerable. And then what is the medulla? So the medulla is where a lot of the protein structures are for the hair. Keratin fibers affect your hair's shape and structure. So what other things are you looking for when you study hair? The same type of damage shows for heat and maybe the hair thickness. So if you have a thinner diameter, that means that you should use lighter products. And you have a thicker diameter, your hair can handle heavier products. Is it possible to take a piece of my hair, examine it under the microscope, and maybe make me a custom hair formula? Yeah, of course. Do what you gotta do, but be careful. It's my livelihood over here. <gasps> you do have some signs of damage, which is really normal. So based on what we saw here, is there something that you can whip up for my hair? Yeah, definitely, let's go. Serena is making me a hair mask, and the process is broken up into three phases. Phase A starts with weighing the water. Anytime there's like beakers or scales involved, I feel super, super, super sciency. This formulation is very precise. You are literally putting singular drops back in to get to the exact amount. That's how precise yes. you need to be. Yes, exactly. She also adds an emulsifier and a polyquat before warming up the mixture in this little bath. In phase B, we add avocado and jojoba oil. This is the most I've ever focused. <laughs> well, what jojoba oil does is helps protect the hair and helps seals it and moisturize the hair. And the avocado oil also has strengthening properties because of the fatty acids. Next up, keratin and wheat protein. Protein helps fill in the gaps in the cuticle. With our oils and proteins done, we retrieve our warmed water ingredients. We know it's ready because the emulsifier starts to expand a little bit. Now, we physically combine them with the stirrer. It's like a little science blender. <laughs> With our water ingredients blended, we add in the oils and the proteins. Now we're ready for the C phase. We start with the fragrance that we want and then add a preservative to ensure that the product will be safe to use for a long time to come. How am I supposed to actually use this product? After you shampoo once a week, it's more of a treatment rather than an everyday use product. Now all that's left is transferring the product over to this cute little jar. Well, Serena, thank you so much for my custom hair mask. And thank you for teaching me so much about hair. If you're ever in need of any um, hair models for your men's line, I've been told by an expert that I have pretty good hair. I'll definitely consider it. <laughs> cool. Take care. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.